fellow diamond painting addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne and I'm here today to share with you the finish finally of my Josephine wall. I am exhausted but she's done and I'm so happy that I managed to finish it before the end of May. I know that you're seeing this on June 1st however I actually finished the kit on May 30th. So I had a whole extra day. Woo. <laughs> so I'm actually super proud of myself for finishing it. If you remember when I opened this kit, it had all kinds of issues in it. It had 275 colors, although I actually received 300 colors in drills. It was also double-sided adhesive, which meant that there were a lot of rivers at the top and bottom of the canvas. They were simple enough to fix, but just time consuming. I think this is maybe my largest project ever. This one, it, the website says it's 100 by 75. When I measured, I got 101 by 76. So slightly bigger than my Diana more colors than my Diana. Diana only had 250 colors. However, I will say that I completed this one much quicker than I expected. Diana took me about 180 hours to finish. This one only took me about 147 hours to complete. Now, there was a lot more multi-placing in this kit than in Diana, so that might have had something to do with it. Or perhaps it's just that I have two years more of experience underneath my belt and so I just got it done faster. There were still lots of confetti in the canvas, the flowers, of course, her dress, the background were all very confetti heavy, but there was some nice multi-placing in the piano, in the stairs, her dress, all that kind of stuff. I am so relieved to finally be done with this kit for a variety of reasons. One, it's huge. And two, I put off working on it. That's one of the reasons that Diana was completed two years ago. And this one has kind of languished in the bottom of my closet. I originally bought the second painting from Diamond Painting Deutschland because it was going to be the same shipping price whether I shipped one or two kits. So I thought, well, let me just pick a second one. That way I can kind of split the shipping costs. I have to admit, I'm not absolutely in love with this image which is why it's kind of languished for so long. I actually like it a lot more now that I'm finished with it, and I did enjoy doing it, even if it wasn't an image that I'm actually in love with. And I'm proud of myself for finishing it because of all of the issues with it, the mix up with the colors, and all of the issues with the double-sided adhesive, the crazy static when I kitted it up. It does look amazing. It's super pretty. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I like Josephine Wall. That being said, I don't know if I'm gonna do another Diamond Painting Deutschland Josephine Wall. I think they're very pretty. I think they're truer to the original artwork than other places, but they're so big and so confetti heavy that I just think I'm gonna stick with maybe some smaller projects for the short term. I did have a plan at the beginning of the year for this kit to kind of work on it as I went along. I did not stick to that. I think in large part due to the fact that this just wasn't an image that I was in love with, but also I just had so many other projects going on that I was trying to concentrate. And while I keep telling myself that I can work on more than one whip at a time, that's just, in reality, not how I work. So I think forcing myself to just kind of have this as a project in May and nothing else actually worked to force me to get it finished. I, I wish I had stick to my original schedule and got it done. It would have been a lot less burnout, I think. But she's done, she's gorgeous, and I'm happy I did it. So I had the 25 colors, like I said, that were extra that I got shipped, even though they didn't go on the canvas. I didn't run out of any drills. I had plenty to finish. Although I added in like 17 or so ABs of my own. I had blues and pinks and purples and yellows and oranges that I, greens that I added in. 
I actually used up three different colors of ABs from my AB spares. So I'm happy about that. And I used a good chunk of other ABs as well. And I think you can see that on the canvas. It's just extra sparkly, I think, because of that. For as big as this kit is, it did not have a lot of trash. It, it seems like a lot because the container is almost full, but it actually wasn't for the size of the kit. So really nice drills other than the mix up. I mean, I had enough drills in the right colors to do the entire canvas. So I'm not sure why the mix up on why I got the extra drills, but whatever the reason, I had more than enough drills to finish. So I'm happy about that. I think the ABs that I added just add a lot of extra sparkle. So yeah, I just, I can't believe I'm finally finished. The last couple of days in May, I wasn't sure, like the 28th, I was like, okay, I've got three days to finish, four days to finish. And I thought maybe I would be able to get it done, but I wasn't sure. And I pulled a couple of six hour stints working on it but I got it finished, which means I am now free to concentrate on all of my projects for DP for Pets, which starts today. So if you haven't already subscribed, click down below and hit that button and hit the bell because the event starts today. So you're free to start working on your canvas. Make sure you have filled out the entry form. I will stick a link to the entry form down below. And my first giveaway for the weekly giveaway for the event will be tomorrow during my regular whip and chat. So every Sunday, I will be giving away a weekly giveaway until we reach the end of the event on the 30th. And then shortly after the 30th, after everybody's had time to submit their exit forms for everybody that works until the very last minute, then I will do as I usually do, make my final montage video and I will draw the two winners of the final uh, kind of grand prizes. I'm so super happy that this is finished. Like I said, I'm really thrilled with the way that it turned out. I think it's gorgeous. I think the ABs add a lot of sparkle and shine. And honestly, I think this kit could have been a bit bigger. I think you do lose some of the detail, like the figure in the background in the original painting is meant to look like, I think, Betty Davis her face is just kind of a couple of maybe four diamonds. So yeah, not a lot of definition there. So crazy as that sounds, I think it might have been even a, a tad better if it'd been a bit bigger. And maybe that's the difference between me doing it in rounds and squares. But at the time when I ordered them, they were out of stock for the squares. So the rounds were all that was available. So that's what I ended up getting. So there is my biggest project to date. I think certainly my biggest project this year Melody in Pink by Josephine Wall. I'm so happy I did this. So happy I got it completed. And now, like I said, I can move on to other things. Not bigger and better things. Not bigger for sure. Not necessarily better, but just different projects. I've got my Jasper C still to do. Of course, I've got my two kits that I've already got kitted up and ready to go for DP for Pets. I can't wait to see what everybody else is working on. If you haven't joined the Facebook group yet, go ahead and do that as well. I will try to remember to do daily postings in there so that everybody can comment and leave progress pics on my post about how they're progressing. I love seeing everybody's photos. You can also follow me over on Instagram. I will be posting stuff over there as well. You can tag me, use the hashtag DP for pets 2024 so that I know you guys are posting over there. Glad I got this project done. Now I have lots and lots of hours to add to my diamond painting goal and it's finished. I'm proud of myself. I didn't stick to the original plan, but I persevered and that's good. That's it for me today, guys. Thanks so much for sticking around till the end of the video. Before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always guys, thanks so much for watching.